Along our journey so far, we've met many different Path Riders, Eons, and their Emanators, but little has been explored about the Eon that the Nameless themselves follow. Akivili is the Eon that follows the path of the Trailblazer and travels the cosmos, expanding the boundaries of the Universal Map. That is until his destiny came to an untimely end. In this video, we're going to explore who Akivili was, what the path of the Trailblazer represented, and where exactly did he go. Before we dive into that, if you want to see more Honkai Star Rail content, do consider subscribing to the channel. In the heart of every sentient being lies the compulsion and unexplainable need to roam the vast intergalactic oceans of the cosmos and explore every corner. While other paths such as preservation and nihility respond to the baser instincts such as survival and slothfulness respectively, the path of the trailblazer has to do with one's curiosity. Those who tread the path of the trailblazer know that there are three directions on the compass of destiny. The unknown, known, and the unknowable. While those who are called trailblazers accept that there are always things that will remain unknown, it is the unknowable that they do not accept. A place, person, or even a culinary dish that is forever obscure purely because of some arbitrary reason and thus remain as something no one will ever know of likely annoys those with strong curiosities. The finality of the unknowable is something that likely irks those who follow this path, almost as though someone has forbidden them from finding the truth or answer. Something forbidden is not within the vocabulary of those calling themselves trailblazers and adventurers, and the more you tell them something is unknowable, the more they want to find out what it is. The path likely manifested itself through the collection of many sentient creatures who wished to peel back the unknowable and explore the unknown giving birth to the path of the trailblaze. Akavili himself, the Eon of the Trailblaze, originated from an isolated world known as Pegana. In an attempt to determine the limits of the Tree of Existence, Akavili left Pegana in search of this very answer. It is Akavili that has connected many different worlds and expanded the boundaries of the known universe. While other Eons are often fixated with their past due to the Primum Mobile? Mobile? such as Klipoth, who continues to labor away on his celestial wall and largely ignoring those that venerate it, Akivili actually enjoys the company of mortals and was said to be the closest to humanity. Every planet he visited, he would mingle amongst them, learn their culture and history, fight alongside them, drink with them, and eventually become close to them. His thirst for exploration and discovery inspired many to follow him into the stars about his space choo-choo train, and would come to be known as the Nameless. The Nameless, much like Akavili, are not interested in fame or wealth and follow the path of trailblazing purely for the sense of adventure and discovery the path gives them. I imagine this is where the term Nameless also originates from as they are largely a group uninterested in titles and as such have foregone any sort of naming convention making most people refer to them as simply as the Nameless. Unfortunately though, every journey has an end, and for Akivili, it supposedly happened abruptly. Eons can die in many different ways. Often, they cease to exist when their paths are absorbed into another larger path, while in other circumstances, a war between gods are also known to happen, leading to Eons killing Eons. But with Akavili, his death wasn't really explained, he just literally disappeared one day. Even in the simulated universe, many of the Eons reacted rather confused when confronted by Akavili, who the main character is pretending to be, as they had heard he had died or have not seen him for a significant amount of time. For even the gods to be unsure of this may indicate something unnatural has occurred to cause the death of Akavili. Of course, there is also the possibility that the other gods or Eons just don't generally care and the death of an Eon is a natural thing. Now, there are a lot of different ideas as to how Akavili died, but just to warn you, there's nothing concrete at the moment as the story hasn't really gotten to a point where this particular story thread has been explored in detail. The first idea that came to mind is that perhaps Akavili had just accomplished his goal. The reason he left his planet of origin many years ago was to find the end point of the Tree of Existence. Perhaps at some point in the past, Akivili had just simply reached the edge of the universe and with his wanderlust satiated, just retired, fading into obscurity. With most eons, their adherence to their path borders on fanaticism and with paths like the preservation, 
there likely is never going to be an endpoint, as there will always be something to protect. But with the trailblazing, is there really a point to it if the universe has been fully explored? So perhaps as I mentioned, Akivili has just retired and is sipping on some drinks on some intergalactic beach somewhere. Now alternatively, and more ominously, it could be that Akivili did reach his intended destination, but instead of stopping there, he found something he shouldn't. Sometimes, the unknown and the unknowable are categorized as such for a reason, and to open the proverbial Pandora's box just purely out of curiosity may often lead to unexpected and unwanted circumstances. Perhaps Akivili learned something about the universe, or maybe something is happening in the future and he has now hid himself awaiting this impending event. What this future or threat is really is anybody's guess, but it would have to be something pretty significant for even a god to go into hiding. Finally, there is still a possibility that Akivili is truly dead, and what's more important here is how he died. While I mentioned earlier that Eon's dying isn't necessarily a surprising event, there are suspicions that he was killed off rather than dying naturally. Again, this might tie in to him figuring out a secret of some sort, but it seems his death may not have been a natural occurring event and perhaps was even planned. However, while this is a prevailing theory even within Staril itself, Himeko for one doesn't believe this to be the case. Whatever happened to Akevili, his legacy still lives on in the Nameless. Scattered throughout the cosmos are the remnants of the Nameless who once travelled with him, still exploring and adventuring in the name of their now lost god. Even the interstellar vehicle he once used to traverse the universe still exists and has been repaired by adherents of the Path of Trailblazing. Himeko, Weld, Dunhang, March, and now even the main character themselves are reigniting the path of the Trailblazer and setting forth into the universe once more to retrace the steps taken by Akavili many years in the past. We may never know what exactly happened to Akavili and why his journey ended so soon, and perhaps it's not as ominous as we might be led to believe. There is still so much within Star Rail that has yet to be explored, and by the time we get around to the big picture items, things might have changed significantly. I do hope that we learn more about the Trailblazer path and Akavili as we go along, but it might not happen for a while. Let me know in the comments what you think happened to him, and I'll end the video here. If you found it entertaining, do consider liking and subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you next time. As usual, have a nice day.